Hi, my name is Ophir Gabay and I'm bringing you another QuickBooks video and today I wanted to discuss account numbers and I'm going to be going through uh, how to create account numbers and then how to create a customized report showing uh, your customer list and the account number um, on that same report. So, uh, just to quickly start off, you go into your customer center and whenever you're creating a new customer you just click new new customer and we're going to call this customer ABC company and the account number field will be under the payment settings oh and just really quickly I'm using QuickBooks Accountant Desktop 2015 uh, just so you know um, but the same uh, concept will apply for the pro and enterprise versions so um, pro premier and enterprise so uh, under the payment settings you'll see account number and this is where we want to put in our account number and you're gonna usually want to do this in sequential order uh, that way everything is nicely organized and you'll know which account number to uh, assign next and so uh, I'm just going to use the, f the four digits for the year and then the number uh, for the customer uh, as of this year so 2015 09 because it's the ninth customer and I'm going to click OK now you may ask yourself how do you know which number is uh, next in the sequential order and to do that we're going to pull up a report go to reports uh, drop down and then we'll go to list and then we want to look at our customer contact list and now we're going to need to customize this report a little bit and as you see right now it's set up to so show the customer and uh, the job and we really we just want to see the, the main customer and also we want to see our account number on here which is currently not on this list um, and so we're gonna want to search for the customer the account number and the cool thing about um, QuickBooks 2015 is uh, you actually have a search uh, feature and anything before uh, 2015 you have to manually scroll down and find it uh, so if you do have a version before 2015 you just scroll down and find account number make sure that uh, box is checkmarked and then if you if we click OK you'll see that now there is an account number column all the way um, to the right and we're just simply gonna grab that column and move it over we want to see it right next to the customer name that way every, everything is uh, easily identifiable and um, as like I mentioned earlier uh, we have the customer and also the customer job on this list and we really we, we just want to see the customer so let's customize this report a little bit more click customize report and then go to go into your filters and then we want to look for customer level customer job level and again uh, this is in 2015 they added the the, the search feature uh, if not if you don't have 2015 you could just scroll down and find customer job level and we want to click the equal sign and enter a zero uh, because we only want to see one level of uh, the customer and then you click OK now our report is filtered to only show the main customer um, and as you'll see that our sequence sequential um, account numbers are out of order so we're going to want to sort this by account number so right here um, this is the drop down menu for default um, uh, sorting so we want to click account number and now everything is sorted by account number in sequential order 
Um, and that's pretty much it. So whenever we're going to be creating a new account, a new uh, customer, we can just pull this report. And also, don't forget to memorize this report so you don't have to customize it again. So you just click Memorize. And you could create a new group if you want, or uh, just add it to uh, your memorized reports. And click OK. Oh, um, I'll add um, account number, customer contact list, account number. OK, that's easily identifiable. And that's that's pretty much it. Uh, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. Uh, and if you ever need any QuickBooks Consulting, uh, please feel free to email me. I'll uh, leave my email address below. It's accounting at firstclasstaxsolutions.com. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.